Welcome, dragon lovers and Westeros enthusiasts. Today, we're delving into the world of House of the Dragon to explore the top 10 most important dragons that played pivotal roles in the Dance of the Dragons. These magnificent creatures were not just mounts but key players in the epic civil war that shaped the Targaryen dynasty. Let's take flight and discover their legendary stories. Dancer, the young dragon ridden by Baela Targaryen, was known for her bravery and agility. Her most notable engagement was her intense battle against the formidable Sunfire. Despite being smaller in size, Moondancer's speed and ferocity made her a fierce opponent, embodying the spirit of her courageous rider. Her role in the conflict highlighted the importance of strategy and tenacity over sheer size. Though not as involved in direct combat, Dreamfire's presence during the Civil War added to the Targaryen faction's strength. Known for her loyalty to the Targaryen lineage, Dreamfire was a symbol of the family's enduring legacy and power. Her majestic blue-silver scales and grace in flight made her a memorable part of dragon history. Seasmoke, originally bonded to Sir Lanor Valerian, was later ridden by Adam Valerian. This dragon played a key role in the war, participating in several battles that highlighted his agility and strategic importance. Seasmoke's involvement in critical victories demonstrated his adaptability and the Valerian's unwavering support for the Targaryen cause. Syrax, the cherished dragon of Rhaenyra Targaryen, symbolized her claim to the Iron Throne. As a dragoness known for her striking yellow scales, Syrax played a pivotal role during the Civil War, supporting Rhaenyra's efforts to secure her rightful place as queen. Her presence was central to Rhaenyra's faction, serving as a symbol of her legitimacy and strength.
Tessarion, the Blue Queen, was known for her striking blue flames, which made her an iconic figure among dragons. Written by Prince Darren Targaryen, she participated in multiple battles, including the Second Battle of Tumbleton. Her unique blue flames and agility in the air made her a formidable opponent, and her loyalty to her rider was unyielding. Tessarion's combat prowess earned her a revered place in dragon lore. I told you because I was unsure that I believed it myself. The Targaryen, who sits the Iron Throne. Why, I must believe what Viserys told me when he named me his heir. What Jaehaerys had told him. And what I will now... Sunfire, renowned for his breathtaking golden scales, was the cherished dragon of King Aegon II. Despite sustaining severe injuries during the conflict, Sunfire's resilience and might remained undeniable. His loyalty to Aegon I, I was unwavering, and his presence on the battlefield was a testament to his rider's claim to the throne. Sunfire's battles were a testament to his strength and tenacity, making him a symbol of the royal family. Vermithor, known as the Bronze Fury, was one of the largest dragons of his era, second only to Vagar in size. He was ridden by King Jaehaerys I's grandson, Hugh Hammer, during the Civil War. Vermithor's immense power and bronze scales made him a formidable presence in the skies. His involvement in the Second Battle of Tumbleton showcased his destructive capability, turning the tide of battle with his overwhelming force and fiery breath. <laughs> Melis, the Red Queen, was distinguished by her brilliant scarlet scales and unmatched speed. Ridden by the formidable Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, she played a crucial role in the Battle of Rook's Rest, where her agility allowed her to outmaneuver larger dragons. Her reputation as one of the fastest dragons made her a valuable asset in aerial combat, and her dramatic presence in battle often boosted the morale of her allies. Caraxes, the blood worm, was known for his long serpentine body and unmatched ferocity. Ridden by Daemon Targaryen, this dragon was a key participant in many battles, notably the epic confrontation at Harrenhal. Caraxes was famed for his ferocity and speed, with his fiery breath being feared by all. The bond between Caraxes and Daemon was legendary, with the dragon responding to his rider's commands with brutal efficiency.
As the largest and most experienced dragon, Vagar's legacy dates back to Aegon the Conqueror's time. Her rider during the Dance of the Dragons was Prince Aemon Targaryen, and together they were a terrifying force on the battlefield. Vagar's sheer size and strength allowed her to dominate the skies during crucial confrontations like the Battle of the Gullet, where she decimated the enemy fleet and the storming of the Dragon Pit, leaving a trail of destruction. Her presence was often the deciding factor in the war's major battles. And there you have it, the top 10 most important dragons in House of the Dragon and their crucial roles in the Dance of the Dragons. These legendary creatures not only shaped the course of the Civil War, but also left a lasting impact on the legacy of the Targaryens. Which dragon is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more epic dragon tales. Thanks for watching, and see you in the skies of Westeros.